G'day and welcome to another episode of Mr. Code's Steam Podcast. Today we're going to go through everything you need to know to get started with resin 3D printing. In today's video, we're going to go through all the things you need to get started with 3D printing using a resin 3D printer, including the assembly, safety and maintenance. Now, whether you're new to 3D printing or if you're experienced with other types of 3D printers, you should take into consideration all the tips I'm going to show you today so that you can keep your workspace clean and safe and make some awesome prints. In contrast to FDM 3D printers which use a spool of filament that is then melted onto a build plate, a resin 3D printer uses a method called SLA or stereolithography which uses a UV light source to harden liquid resin into the desired shape. Now because the vat of liquid resin is at the bottom of the printer, the build plate is positioned on top of it so that the result is that the print rises from the liquid upside down. Now I spend a lot of time making tutorial videos just like these, so if you're finding this video helpful then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making technology videos, so I thank you in advance. The sponsor of today's video is JCAR Electronics and they have kindly provided me with a resin printer for today's video, the Anycubic Photon Mono. And what I really like about this printer is how easy it is to get set up and running. So let's get started. So before I start unboxing, I make sure that I have a very clean area, uh, a place that is indoors and uh, not really, really hot and has no uh, direct sunlight. Make sure that I have a, a tray for uh, any liquids that I might uh, need, to, um, need to store. And then I have some cleaning equipment. I need to have some, some gloves as well. And also a face mask in case uh, I am getting really, really close to that uh, resin liquid. So first thing we got is this piece of paper. It says this paper can be used for leveling, which is very, very useful. What do we have here? Oh, cool. So we have a, uh, a power cable, a uh, spatula, uh, a bit of a squeegee over here. Then a USB stick, uh, some surgical gloves, okay, so this is going to be handy so I don't need to use my gloves. And uh, I think this is uh, a filter, so, uh, so this filter is used for uh, transporting your uh, resin liquid to the vat uh, and also if you need it to tip it out for any reason. Uh, and then some Allen keys as well. We also have another face mask. Here we are. Uh, here is the, um, uh, the, um, uh, what do we call it? This is the build plate, okay? So normally with uh, an FDM 3D printer, you would have the build plate uh, positioned uh, like this, facing upwards, and then you would have the, um, the, the print head uh, traveling around, um, going layer by layer and um, uh, melting the plastic onto uh, this build plate. But for a resin 3D printer, it is slightly different. It is actually going to be suspended over the vat of liquid resin, and then UV light is going to harden the uh, the resin onto this build plate, so it's going to rise out of the uh, the vat uh, upside down. Okay, so uh, this is going to be uh, really really cool to see. And also peel away this protective layer. All right, here is uh, the screen. Finally, we have our 
3D printer. So this thing here is actually the resin vat. So uh, if you can imagine, we're going to fill this up with uh, liquid resin and then um, uh, the, the bottom of it is clear so that uh, the UV light can penetrate uh, the screen and harden the resin uh, as it uh, as it gets arises uh, out of this vat. So now that uh, I have unpacked everything, I'm going to follow the instructions to uh, power up my 3D printer and also get it set up. So while we're waiting for our print to complete, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, JCAR. When it comes to 3D printing, our school is always reaching out to the experts at JCAR. They are the leading DIY electronics retailer in Australia and New Zealand with over 110 stores. So if you're in Australia or New Zealand and you want to buy 3D printing supplies like all of the equipment shown in this video, then make sure you check out their range and visit the JCAR website or pop into a store near you. Once the print is ready, make sure that you give it some time to air dry before going to the next step. So here we are using a spatula to remove the print from the build plate, just like you would on an FDM 3D printer. Uh, you just have to be very, very careful and wear gloves when you are doing this so that you don't get any resin on your skin. Once the model is air dry, you will need to clean the model with isopropyl alcohol in order to dissolve any remaining resin that is uh, still stuck onto the model. Uh, use a toothbrush and a little container or some uh, some wipes uh, to thoroughly clean your model make sure that any excess resin is removed once that is ready then do the same thing with your build plate and clean that with alcohol as well if you have a lot of leftover resin then make sure you pour it back into the bottle through a filter so that it catches any lumps or clumps once that is done you can put the model the vat and everything else in some direct sunlight for a few hours and let the natural UV light of the sun harden your model and also make it easier for you to clean off the resin from your vat when it is hardened. Although not needed at the very start of your SLA 3D printing journey, an excellent addition to the 3D printer is a wash and cure unit. These units use incorporated UV lights for uniform curing and provides a compact and relatively clean way to wash the finished model. It means less pouring and bottling of solvents for cleaning and a thorough washing process for the newly printed model. 
Once everything has been hardened by UV light, then the model is ready to be used and anything inside the resin vat should be solid enough for you to clean off easily with a plastic spatula that is included as part of the box. Make sure you store everything away from direct sunlight and safely away from kids and pets. And that's it from me today. I hope you found my video helpful. Make sure you leave your thoughts and comments in the section below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.